Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with GetOnStream.com. And if you're watching this video, you've probably just picked up a brand new PC. So congratulations on that. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy your time streaming with it. If you're gonna go ahead and start streaming, you wanna have the best possible streaming settings, for your new high-end gaming rig. So we're gonna go through in this video really, really quickly, the best streaming settings for a high-end PC. If you do wanna learn more about like why we choose the settings that we do, check out the article in the description. But for this video, I'm just gonna have a no BS guide and go through every setting that you need to change really, really quickly so you can get up and running streaming as fast as possible. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a big thumbs up on it. We're trying to hit 200 likes in this video. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And let's go ahead and jump in to OBS and show you exactly what to change. So once we jump into OBS, we wanna pop over to file right here, click on settings, and there's gonna be two tabs in here that we need to look at. One is output, and the next is video. We're gonna start over here at video. So what we wanna do here is set our base canvas resolution to 1920 by 1080. Even if you're gaming in 1440p or 4K, you probably wanna go ahead and leave this at 1080 just to get the maximum performance out of your games and stream at the same time. For output scaled resolution, this might be a little counterintuitive to you, but we actually wanna select here 720. And your output scaled resolution is streaming to Twitch. So we wanna select that as 720 because some people on Twitch are watching on mobile, on data, maybe that have you know kind of slower internet. And if you wanna get the most views on your stream possible, you wanna make sure that your stream is not lagging for your viewers. And if you're not an affiliate yet, your viewers are not going to be able to go ahead and select the quality of your stream. So we wanna stream in 720p, so the most possible people can actually watch it without having any issues. And as we are scaling between two resolutions right here, you wanna select by cubic as your downscale filter, and we can select 60 FPS for our common FPS values. That's our video settings set up. Just click apply right here. That will apply your settings. And the next thing we wanna do is head into output. So the first thing we wanna do in here is set our output mode to advanced. That's gonna give us a couple more options that we can play with. For your output settings, there's two kind of ways you can go. If you're using a newer NVIDIA graphics card, which you may be if you're watching this video for high-end PCs, you probably wanna select NVIDIA NVENC as your encoder. This is gonna help use your GPU to encode your stream and take some resources off your CPU. So let's go ahead and do the settings if you are using NVENC first. So we wanna keep rate control right here as CBR. We wanna set our bit rate to 6,000, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just use the arrow keys right here. Set that up to 6,000 kilobytes per second. Essentially, that's how much data you're sending through to Twitch. So we're gonna set that right up to 6,000 right there. Let's go. We want our preset right here to be quality. We want our profile to be high. We wanna make sure that psychovisual tuning is selected. Look ahead is not selected. Have our GPU set to zero and our max B frames as two. And that is your settings good to go. If you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, you can then just go ahead, select apply right here and that'll apply your settings and you'll be ready to go. If you're not using an NVIDIA graphics card, we're gonna be using software times 264 to encode our streams. That essentially means we're using our CPU versus our GPU. So if that is the case, we wanna come down here again, set our rate control to CBR. We want our bit rate again to be 6,000 kilobytes per second. I went ahead and set that. Then we wanna come down here to CPU usage preset. We want that to be very fast, profile none, tune none, and that is pretty much it. That is the settings that you're gonna be using on OBS Studio if you're running a new high-end PC. Hopefully this will give you a really good quality stream that you and your viewers can absolutely enjoy. If you did enjoy the video, please do go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're new here. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of summer. If you do wanna check out more info on this and get into a little bit more detail, check out the article down below in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.